Hi, this is Rod again. Today I'm going to do the shock video that I've been promising you. So these shocks have been on the car about two months. We're going to take them down, show you what's inside them, what they look like after a, a month or two, and do a rebuild. Here's the shock off of the front of the B6. Um, I'm going to show you a little closer the wear of this shock. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the, the threads on the screw are worn. And that's what sits right there. And then, of course, the ball in the eyelet is worn. And then on this end, on this end, the shock bushing really worn out and real loose in the, in the cap. Taking the oil out of the shock. Looks like it's been in there a while. Shock feels very sticky. Feels like it needs new seals. And the reason of that is because you use silicone shock fluid and you use silicone O-rings, so the shock fluid attacks the O-rings and makes them swell. So therefore that gives you stiction. On the left we have the shock seal we took out. On the right a new X-ring from Associated. The left one, of course, 20 to 30% bigger. Makes a big difference on how that shock works. Okay, this is part is cleaning out the shock. I don't ever use any kind of cleaner. I just use a Q-tip, clean out both ends. And then you're ready to go back together. Okay, this part is re just re simply reassembling the shock. A little bit of green slime. The more you use the better, kind of protects the seals or assembly. Okay, we're going to build the eyelet. Use my shock tool here. And it's nice and smooth already, so there's no need to pinch it with anything. Thread this on until you get to your measurement there. Around 20 millimeters. And the shock is now ready for fluid. Okay, I have my shock here that is full of fluid. I filled it and let it sit about 10 minutes to get all the air bubbles to the top. It's ready to go now. Put a drop of oil in the cap and then screw the two together. Keep the air hole to the top. Let all that air out. Shock assembly tool. All right, now, just as the instruction in the manual say, slowly bleed the air out. Bleeder screw in and you're ready to go. A few times, see what we got here. A little bit of rebound, just perfect. There's our shock, the new eyelet, new cap, new seals, ready to install. Okay. Shock reinstalled, as you can see, no slop at all at the top or bottom, just absolutely perfect, just like it should be.